Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul, and I'm going to be showing you guys a couple things that I bought online, as well as what my boyfriend bought me. So we're just going to jump right in, and if you want to continue watching, then please do. So first thing I'm going to talk about was what my boyfriend bought me over a month ago. I think it was a month and like two days already. It's been pretty long, but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these items in a couple videos by now. So I got two eyeliners, and the first one is a NYX colored felt tip liner in white. And the second one is a NYX Vivid Brights um, eyeliner in, let's see, hmm, Vivid Halo. So this is a yellow one, and then this is white. I was trying to get the white one in the same, like, tube this one was in, but I didn't find it. And then once we were checking out and leaving, I ended up seeing it, but... I couldn't like go back afterwards but anyways so I just got this one in a felt tip and this one in the little tube so reviews on these two eyeliners this one I like because it's in the little tube that you just have to twist and then there's a little hair like pen at the end I guess and I like this one but the only bad thing about this is this cracks a little on your eye but it's easier to use in this felt tip liner because this felt tip liner doesn't have like a lot of product in like the pen area so you don't really get a lot of product and it takes longer than using this kind of brush so that's my reviews on those two items but I do like both of them I just wish I would have gotten the white one in the same tube as the yellow one but okay so moving on the next two items are from NYX as well and I wanted these two lip products and I'm pretty sure I've used this in a video already, so you guys have already seen this. But I got a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and this is in Tea and Cookies. And then I saw that they had NYX Suede Matte Lip Liners, so I got the same exact shade, Tea and Cookies, in the lip liner. And I love this color and the formula of both of them, so there's nothing... Bad about this. So this is like a very light pink, like a Barbie pink kind of, but a little toned down. It isn't as hot as a real like true Barbie pink color. But so here's the suede lip cream. You know, lip liner is underneath. You can see that the lip liner is a little darker for some reason, but I like both of them a lot. And it does take a little while for the cream suede lipstick to dry. So that's just something you guys should know if you're going to go out and buy one of these products. So we're already on lip products, I'm just going to go into another one that I got and it's from Jar Cosmetics and it's in like this little packaging. I love their packaging, it's so like chic and like nice. But okay, so you open it up and this is the tube. It's kind of like, I don't know how to say, like foggy I guess. It looks kind of foggy so you can kind of see the color. But this is the collaboration with Manny. So it is the Serenity lipstick. It is one of their Hydra Matte lipsticks. So it's not supposed to be all the way matte and it's supposed to be hydrating for your lips. Um, but after a while it does tend to go into being completely matte. So I do have to put on more chapstick and then it's fine after that. And it also does settle into my like lines of my lips but I think that's just like all matte lipsticks. Um, so yeah, I really like this lipstick, and it smells so good. It's just like really sweet. I don't know what to like describe it as, like icing or cupcakes. I don't know. It's really sweet though. And I'll swatch that like underneath. So this one's more of a rosy, like pink, I guess. Looks kind of peachier, but pink as well. And it's right here underneath those two other lip products. Um, this also does take a little time to dry, but I really like it because it doesn't feel really heavy on my lips like other lip products. Um, so I really like this lipstick, and it was $10. It's originally $20, but they had the Labor Day sale, so I got it for $10. And I really like this formula. So the next thing I got, I actually bought before the Gerard Cosmetic lipstick. Um... This company is fairly new to me. I think they're barely like starting up. I think they've only been open for at least a year maybe. Hopefully I'm right. Um, 
but it is called Star Crushed Minerals. They have eyelashes, highlighters, um, pigments for your eyes, glitters, I don't know, like a bunch of stuff. So they were also having a sale, not for Labor Day, they were just giving some people like 50% off codes. Um, I'm pretty sure they weren't affiliates either, so they just gave them codes. And this one that I actually showed you already is in the shade Honeymoon. And since I ordered this highlight during their sale, it was taking a while for them to actually process my, um, my order and to actually ship it out. And after 13 days, like on the 13th day, I emailed them saying that I actually wanted to do a review video on their products and I was wondering what was taking so long. But they actually said I was, they actually said I ordered on the last day so I would be one of the last orders they would confirm. But they said since I'd be doing a review video, they would actually bump me up to one of the top people on the list. And then by the next day, my order had already shipped. But they also said they'd include another highlight for me to review. So they sent me this highlight that's called In the Buff. And this one's more like of a pinky tone than the one in Honeymoon. The Honeymoon's more of a gold than yellow tone. And this one's still like a silvery, like pinky one. So I like that I have like two different like colors. So if I'm doing someone's makeup or something, um, and they have a different undertone, I can use whatever one that fits them. But yeah, those two highlights I really like. And I put it on top of some highlights like so that it's a topper basically. And it just brightens up my highlight even more. Because I'm pretty sure you guys know by now that I am like a highlight freak. And I love when my highlight is really, really bright and shining. So yeah. Anyways, you guys should definitely go try out this brand. They are really awesome and I love their highlights. I'm probably going to be trying more products from them soon because I am in love with their highlights. So I want to see how their other products will work for me. But yeah, so this brand is called Star Crush Minerals again if you guys didn't hear before so moving on to the next products i wanted some morphe brushes because i wanted a new contour brush that wasn't elf i've been wanting to get more brushes so that when i'm doing my makeup during a video i can list the brushes and the description box i wanted it to be easier and have at least like one brand of brushes and have their names and their numbers listed down below and then so I got a new contour brush and I actually really like it. I've been using it lately and it's pretty dense. So a little product actually goes a long way like more than my e.l.f. contour brush because that one's like way more fluffy and it's easier to like maneuver and stuff. But it also means that you would have to use more product and take more time doing your bronzer. So I like this one and this is the Morphe M104. This was pretty cheap. I can't remember what the price was, but I'm pretty sure all these brushes were at least five or six dollars. But yeah, I really like this brush if you guys want to try it out. It was one of their cheaper contour brushes because I just want to try one of them, even though I already know I will love like all their brushes. But at the time, I just didn't want to spend so much money on brushes when I've been buying so much makeup lately. So what made me actually want to go on to the Morphe site and buy some brushes was that they came out with the new rose gold collection and to buy these you had to buy each brush separately so I actually like that more like way better because then I can pick out the brushes I want than buying a whole like collection and not using some of them because I already have brushes similar so I ended up getting a new brow brush because my Anastasia brow brush is really used up because I love it so much but I wasn't willing to splurge on buying another brush that's $18 when I can just go to Morphe and get a way cheaper brush that works really good as well And then since you guys know I love my highlight I had to get a highlight brush in this rose gold collection. So both brushes are the R44 and the R36 This one is just like the M501 that I have the black one. It's just a little bit longer and I honestly love this brush. I think this one's a little more dense than my black one as well because it applied so much product when I first used it. So the other one is the brow brush, the R44. 
and it's just so pretty like the spoolie is amazing i don't know just their brushes are the best quality like for cheaper brushes like they're more affordable and they're so good but this one is a little longer so i'm gonna have to get used to this because my anastasia brush is probably like half the size of this brush but it also may be easier than the anastasia brush and it might get my brows like done quicker so we'll see how this goes because I haven't used this one um, yet. So those were the three brushes that I got. And I know like in total I think it was like $21 for shipping and tax and the brushes all together. So if you guys want to go out and buy some of their brushes, it is really affordable. And I've loved every brush I've bought from them so far. So I'm pretty sure you guys will too. Okay, so the next thing is the RCMA No Color Powder. And this is the original one. Um, they have a banana one, I'm pretty sure, and a translucent one. I got this one because it's said to have no flashback in flash photography. And it's supposed to not crease and, I don't know, just not like basically dye your foundation. I don't know if I should use the word dye, but it just, when you use translucent and banana powders and other powders that have pigment in it, it changes the foundation like color that you already have on and it changes it a little bit to the powder color that you're using. First time I used it with a brush, the e.l.f. foundation pointed brush. Um, and it actually creased up a lot. So I don't think using a brush would be the best idea when using this. Um, this powder looks really, really white, like stark white. But that's because it has no color pigment in it which is really good. I did notice that it did crease up a tiny bit today, but it's not like really super bad, so I'm okay with that. It's just, I've been wearing my makeup for at least 10 hours now, so I would expect something would change a little bit. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna buy this, this is actually $12, and the shipping was like $3.40, I think. So this is awesome for the price and the amount you get. It has more in it than the Laura Mercier one, that one has one ounce, and that's, I'm pretty sure, like $30 or $40. And I was going to buy that one. But once I started watching review videos on this, I was like, heck no, I need to get this one. It's way cheaper, and it looks better. Um, so I did. The only con I have about this, really, is the packaging. It looks like a spice bottle. And when you open it up, what I was watching in review videos, that they used, like, they used the top, and they would shake it up and then have a little powder right here and just get their sponge or brushes and use it like that but it made such a huge mess so actually when you get it it comes with this like little stopper that you have to pull off and I just keep it inside there in the cap so that none gets through and doesn't make a huge mess and I just put my brush or my sponge and dip it into it and that's actually way easier than what I've seen in videos so that's just a little review on that, and I hope you guys actually like this product if you do go out and buy it. The last product is the Sleek Makeup Highlighting like Palette. It is in the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette. I want to show you guys this packaging so bad, but it's reflecting all the light right now when I'm moving it around, and it's probably going to blind you guys, so I don't really want to show you guys that. So when you open it up, it has this little sheet saying the four highlighting colors you get also this was 10 euros because it's from a uk company but i think it ended up being like around 20 dollars when we reverted to us money and my boyfriend actually did buy this because i've been wanting it and it came in stock and i was like heck yeah i've seen videos on it it made their other girls like highlight so bright and popping like i love highlight so i needed to get it and he just bought it for me because he's amazing but okay, so when you open it, you have that little sheet of paper telling you the name. Then you have a little mirror, and I don't want to show you guys that. But then you get a little brush, and this brush is pretty cute. Like, the packaging is honestly amazing. So they did include this little brush, but I don't think a lot of people will be using this brush for highlighting. So then it comes with these four highlighting shades. I'm trying to show you this. Okay, so it comes with like a peachy... Like champagne one, a more yellow toned one, a purple, like silvery purple one, and then a cream one. It's kind of like beigey, purpley cream one. So you see how like the first two are very pigmented and then the one in the middle 
One of the ones in the middle is the yellow one, and it's not too pigmented, but when you put it on, it's like a light highlight, but it's also pretty bright with a brush. I think it looks more pigmented with the brush. But okay, so the first one at the on the top is the peachy, like, champagne -y one, then it's the purple one, then it's the little yellow one, and then on the very bottom is the cream one. The cream one actually looks very, like, pigmented on my hand, and it actually looks more rosy on my hand than what it did on my finger. But yeah, these highlights are very pigmented. Um, but this highlighting palette is very, very affordable as well. And it's amazing for its price. So if you guys were looking into buying this highlighting palette, you should because it's so amazing and affordable and great for its price as well. I bought this also on a Labor Day sale. And it is from Impressions Vanity. It is one of their mirrors. It has a huge mirror and an LED touch screen. And it has, I think, 21 lights and then dimmable lights as well. So this mirror is touch screen. And as you can see, it did brighten up my face a little bit. And I really like it. Hopefully you guys can see like the highlight a little more. But yeah, I really like this mirror, and I did get it on sale. It ended up being around $38 to $39 with the little sale that was going on. Um, and it was originally, I think, $45 without the sale, so it would be around $50 or $50 to $60. So it was a good deal for this mirror. But if you guys want to see like the back area, you can see this it has a little switch on and off so that it doesn't waste too much like batteries because this does take four AA batteries and that goes right here and then it also has it also has a little storage area right here I just flipped it upside down so this is where you can store some things when you're doing your makeup but I think this is amazing because it does brighten my videos as well when I'm using it all these products I'm pretty sure I used in the video that will probably be coming out after this one Except some of them because I like the highlighting. I didn't use one of them, the Star Crush Minerals ones, because I want to use a sleek makeup one. And yeah, I used some of the brushes as well, not all. But hopefully you guys like this video, and hopefully you guys like that one as well. Which I'll be using some of those, some of these products in it as well. With this sleek highlighting palette, I'm also thinking about buying one for my 100 subscriber giveaway that I told you guys about already. So once I reach 100 subscribers or when I'm about to reach 100 subscribers, I will be purchasing the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette and Solstice for you guys. And I hope you guys like it because I really enjoy using it. It's literally my baby. I love it so much. I use it all the time now. But yeah, that's all for this haul video. And if you did like it, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos. And subscribing to my channel actually keeps you like in the loop when I upload videos because it sends you a notification. I think if if you want notifications every time I post a video you have to click on a little bell. But yeah, keep in contact with me. You guys can comment on my videos and just give me su suggestions and tell me videos you guys would want to see because I love doing that for you guys. And for everyone that's been commenting lately on my videos and giving me support and showing me all that support and giving me tips and stuff. Thank you so much. I actually really appreciate it, even if you don't think so. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, day, wherever you are. And yeah, bye guys.